what happens to the teacher in the class of the person who uh, tests absolutely. positive? Absolutely. Indeed, so we, what happens uh, to the teacher? Yeah, well, could I, could I just say in the first instance, yes, indeed, there has been um, uh, intense engagement and very high-level engagement between uh, the Department of Health, um, the HSC, and the Department of Education. Indeed, just the day before yesterday, uh, we had a very high-level engagement with the Minister for Health and his officials. Um, uh, we also had Mr. Paul Reid of the HSC and his officials and public health and um, I was also present and officials from my department and uh, we, we did work through what was, would be required and what would happen and there's a very clear um, protocol from public health but could I say to you it, it, it depends on the situation um, in the school at a given time so in terms of the teacher the, the testing and tracing comes into play uh, public health comes in, makes the adjudication as to how long the student was in a particular environment, um, uh, who the student mixed with, and depending on all of that information available to public health, then they make the decision as regards what happens next. They are best placed, they have the expertise. No, no, hang on, hang on a second, that's fine, and you know, you phone public health and they get someone there, maybe reasonably quickly, but maybe not so quickly. I'm just wondering what the principal of the school has to do at that moment you've got someone who has been coughing and spluttering is isolated sent home and even while you're waiting for the test result does the teacher go home do you send all the other kids home i mean these are, these are no. decisions that principals are going to have to make and and principals are, are very do? clear principals are very clear in the guidelines that um, that they would have received that until um, a diagnosis has been made in relation to the case, whether it's a student or indeed a teacher, until the adjudication is made and until public health have, um, you know, um, made, uh, are aware of that adjudication, it is then and only then that matters will kick in in the school. It, it would be impossible for a, a principal to make any decision without the verification of the test. And once the test is verified, then public health takes over. But what, what about the precautionary principle? I mean, I, this is not pie-in-the-sky stuff. I'm not kind of creating uh, a, some sort of a rare and aberrant situation. I'm saying you've got someone in the class who's coughing who may have COVID-19. That person but may have got Pat, it may from I someone who is asymptomatic. It. No, no bear, bear with me for a moment. Yes, indeed. That person may have got the condition from someone who's asymptomatic, right? And that person who's asymptomatic, who's given it to student number one, is still going to be given it to student number three, four, five, six, and seven, and indeed possibly even the teacher, while everyone's making up their mind what to do. Surely there should be precautionary protocols for the principal to know what to do on the day at the moment. Well, you, you have just, in, in, in what you have outlined there, you have said the student may have COVID-19. The student may be coughing or spluttering or whatever the case might be. Now, could I say in the first instance, in terms of a child who is coughing and, and spluttering, best practice advice, and it's, they are very, very clear in the schools as to what that is and how uh, good respiratory etiquette and all of that, so there will be no child, nor indeed staff member at any stage, coughing and spluttering into the environment and all of that. But again, just to come back to your point about the child may or may not. We cannot live in a world of may and may not. The child will either be confirmed as being diagnosed with COVID-19 or not if they are confirmed and that would be the same anywhere whether it was a member of staff or in any work environment. Once it's a confirmed case then public health takes over and, and, you know, and, and that's advisable and um, we're also very aware and indeed doctors have pointed this out children will get sick. It is the nature of, of children to get sick. It may have nothing to do with COVID-19. So you know we are adapting the principle that we are told to adopt that all precautionary measures will be taken in school in terms of um, best etiquette and best practice in schools. We are doing that rigorously. We have put funding in place in terms of you know, ensuring uh, sanitize, uh, uh, sanitizer, um, cleaning methods, all of that. And when there is a confirmed diagnosis, then the correct action will also be taken. It is very clear.